Welcome to a sketchbook tour for my final major project, Growth and Decay. I specialised in printmaking during this project and learned new techniques and refined my skills. Here I began with some research pages that outlined the brief context of the theme, target audience and the ways in which I would communicate my intentions throughout. This sketchbook is a balance between research and experimentation during the creative process. These pages show some artists that I was inspired by in a visit I took to the Tate Modern in mid-March at the start of the project. I also talk about the importance of presenting work and taking advantage of the gallery space. The first printmaking technique here I explored was Colograph. I started by making some practice plates to show the different textures and how they worked when they were printed. As you can see, I used a mixture between natural and man-made textures to compose my plates. At these stages, I was really open to ideas, so I tried printing with a jelly plate and onto different fabrics and doing some embroidery. Here's another plate that I did, uh, which is just a bit bigger. I also took a little bit of interest in doing some frottages over to see how they contrasted the prints that they represent. I researched Caravaggio here, who was an Italian artist who used decaying fruits in his beautiful Renaissance paintings. On the following pages, I did some colograph prints as a response that were from a sketch I took from a still life inspired by the artist. The subject matter would be continue to become a theme in my project as I liked looking at organic forms. Here I looked at embossing which is a method of creating an impression onto the paper. To accompany the embossing I also did some printing on one to add more depth and dimension. Frottage was the, was the next focus that I looked into more. I researched Max Ernst and John Piper and responded with my own frottage rubbings using graphite and then wax and ink, as you can see. Using organic matter as materials for my project became a really interesting idea to play with, so I delved into it by making paper myself using natural fibres. I then printed onto some paper that I made using the next technique I explored, which was dry point etching. Dry point is an intaglio form of printing that is really direct. You can achieve really intricate line work and it is something that I'm really familiar with. I thoroughly enjoy using the print roller and seeing the prints come out every time. As you can see, I really tried to experiment with backgrounds here and seeing how I could make the print stand out. I was really happy with how the, the dry points came out and the level of intricacy that sort of contrasted the colograph that I looked at previously in the project. This next technique is cyanotype, which was new to me. It is a sun exposure print with acetate and a UV sensitive solution on the paper. Here are the acetates that I took, which were printed from photos primary source photos that I took of a beetroot that was dried and wrinkly. I really liked the form and the sort of textures that got really deep uh, onto it. And yeah, it's really interesting. Here I also looked more into the subject matter and took some photocopies and experimented with them, overlapping the different forms and seeing what shapes I could create. I also uh, was reversing the colours and putting them in black and white to see what that did and then writing what I thought on my Adobe Spark web page. I think with the form here you can see I was really inspired by the way that they were running freely. 
it reminded me of a piece that I saw in 2019 by Anthony Gormley called Clearing 8, I believe, V-I-I-I, yeah. Here are the cyanotype prints that came of the printing. And then next I have a more familiar printing technique, which is screen printing. I actually made the screen with a similar technique to the cyanotype by using a sun exposure to make the shapes onto the screen and then putting it in a frame. I uh, printed some brown and some black. The brown one were on coffee stained paper and I liked them a lot. They were really good. I mixed the medium in a 50-50 ratio, 50% acrylic and 50% printing medium. Here are some acetates that I used for the screen printing. This one that you could see now was done with a black Posca pen, which worked really well because it was very opaque and didn't let any of the light through. It also meant that I could get some detail that I couldn't get from the printed acetates. Now we're on to the final sort of development. I've got the, the sketch of what I plan to do. From the sketch, I did some practice embossing and some practice test prints for my final piece. In my final piece, I was trying to link together the human form with the more natural forms that I was inspired by with Caravaggio. I also wanted to show off all of the printmaking techniques. I managed to merge three techniques together in my final piece, being color graph, dry point and embossing. Next is my final results. this video is only a small insight into my thoughts and process throughout the project but i really hope you've enjoyed my sketchbook and my final outcomes thank you very much for watching